Hi everybody. For today's video, I will be comparing four different bass ocarinas from STL Ocarina. And I'll be playing them all into this ribbon mic that's right here off screen. And I do have some sound treatment up around the room to help absorb some of the reverb. So hopefully you'll get a better idea of what the ocarinas really sound like or as much as you can <laughs> through a video. Now, one thing I want to mention is that I will be referring to the ocarinas by the materials that they're made out of, plastic, purple clay, ceramic, porcelain, and there are absolutely other factors at play for the difference in sound, such as the maker, the chamber, the windway, all that sort of stuff, but it just makes it a little bit easier to just refer to it as the plastic ocarina, ceramic ocarina, etc. So that all being said, let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> So now that you've heard all the ocarinas played back to back, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at them individually. So first up we have right here, the plastic ocarina. Now, the one thing I did notice about this is compared to the others, it absolutely takes the least amount of air, which is actually really wonderful. If you want to play some long sustained phrases, it is much, much easier to play on this instrument. And actually I can play all the way up to those top notes, have them speak, have them speak in tune without a lot of effort. Um, because it just takes a little bit less air to play it up to pitch. Now, a common complaint I've heard about plastic ocarinas out there in the world is that they tend to get clogged with water in the windway a little bit more easily than some of the other ocarinas. And I did find that to be true with this ocarina, but there is a solution. You can clear the windway out really easily. There's this hole right here on the back where the sound comes out of, and if you plug that with your thumb and just blow, no sound will come out and actually it will help to um, blow the water out of the windway. I've used this for whistles and recorders and other instruments as well. So for any of you that might find that to be a problem you have occasionally with any plastic ocarina, that's a really quick and easy solution. <laughs> Next thing I wanna mention is of all the ocarinas I played today, this one is by far the most lightweight. So if you do have some hand or wrist issues, this one is probably going to be the most comfortable to play. Um, now, the one thing I will say is that it does have a quieter sound than the rest of the ocarinas. Um, not necessarily a negative. I actually kind of like that breathier, quiet sound, and there's definitely a place for it. And finally, the last thing to mention is this particular plastic ocarina is a Legend of Zelda themed ocarina, which if you like collecting ocarinas, or if you even like collecting Legend of Zelda ocarinas, this is definitely a fun one to add to the collection. So next up, we have this absolutely beautiful, in my humble opinion, ceramic ocarina. And um, it definitely is the prettiest of the bunch to my taste, but I'm a complete sucker for this style of glaze and I love the color. Um, now onto how it plays. This one, I feel like plays with maybe a bit more resistance than some of the others. And so I don't know if that's because of how the windway was designed or how the sound holes cut. I'm not really sure, um, but it kind of results in a bit of a breathier, chuffier sound. And it's not super loud, 
Um, but I don't mind the breathiness and the chaffiness. So I'd say of the bunch, this one probably has the biggest change in tone color um, across the range of the instrument. So some of the notes are a lot breathier. Some of them have a little bit more of a pure sound. Um, definitely up high, I'd say it's a little bit breathier and maybe in the mids to lows has a bit more of a pure sound. Um, but I mean, I do love this instrument as well. And, um, and I think it's so pretty. <laughs> Onwards to the Purple Clay Bass Ocarina. Now, this is the first bass ocarina that I purchased, and I do love the sound of this ocarina. It just has this like hollow, pure, beautiful tone. That being said, it definitely takes the most air of all of the ocarinas I played today, um, especially in that higher register. So if you're looking to play some melodies that are really long and sustained, and you need to play them in tune at A440 or A442, this one is going to be a bit more of a challenge if you need to sustain those notes for a long period of time. Um, also, everything about this ocarina just seems a little bit bigger. The finger holes seem a little bit bigger. The actual body feels a little bit bigger. It's a little bit heavier. Um, and so if you're somebody that has smaller hands or wrist issues, you might find this one to be a bit more of a challenge to play, but I do love the sound of this one. So last up, we have the Porcelain Bass Ocarina, which is my newest of the bases and is now probably my favorite. Um, physically, it feels closer to the ceramic ocarina to play um, in regards to the, to the size and shape of the body and the size of the finger holes. So for the shape of my hands and the size of my hands, it feels fairly comfortable to play. And finally, this one probably has the most balanced scale of the bunch I played today. And what I mean by that is that the tone color stays fairly consistent throughout the range of the entire instrument. So it doesn't sound way breathier in one part of the range or way more pure in a different part. It, it kind of keeps that consistency, um, which I really like. So for my final thoughts, I do want to mention that many ocarinas are handmade by a person. <laughs> and because of that, there might be slight variations even within the same make and model. And that goes for many, many instruments out there, whether it's saxophone, clarinet, a bamboo flute, a wooden flute, there's always going to be like slight variations. So those are my thoughts based on the four that I have. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you had a favorite, what you heard, any additional thoughts you might have about these ocarinas. And I will link in the description below to these ocarinas as well, in case you want to check them out for yourself. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.